So we spoke with a bunch of our listeners and we said, what foods do you want us to cook with? Almost unanimously, people said squash. We need squash recipes. Mm -hmm. So it looks like that's what we're doing today. This is squash. This is actually a spaghetti squash. All right, and there's several different ways to cook it. Um, what I like to do when I'm cooking it in a conventional oven is I'll just cut it in half. Woo, using some muscle. Okay, and it does have kind of a thick skin. Okay, and you can see how when we pull these seeds out, though these little strings almost like spaghetti that come out. Okay, and that's why they call it obviously spaghetti squash. Now you can toast these seeds and uh, eat them. I know as a kid I always, you know, would want mom to do that. Put your spaghetti squash cut side down, put about a half inch of water in there, and then roast it in the oven at about, I would say, 375 for about 40, 45 minutes. When you roast it whole, uh, you need to stick it, stick it with a knife a couple times so it doesn't explode. And you can even cook this in the microwave. And a lot of times what I'll do is, when I cook it like this, I'll just cut out a little window into it. Okay, we'll pull that into a bowl. And then you can you could uh, season it with whatever you like. Um, if you like red sauce, anything that you would do with spaghetti. If you like red sauce, you could do red sauce. Um, what I'm gonna do is toss it with some Parmesan cheese, a little salt, a little chopped garlic, a little lemon zest, a little pepper, maybe a little crushed red pepper flakes. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some truffle oil but you could just use regular extra virgin olive oil and then you could stuff it back into the shell. Oh, Take it to the clever. table like this. Garnish it with a little bit of parsley. Maybe a little sprinkle of Parmesan on top. I'm a big fan of spaghetti squash. I gotta say, I've never made it like this, but I definitely use it as a replacement for pasta uh -huh. in some dishes. Delicious. Ooh, those red pepper flakes. You can learn more about real food and green living on the Earth Eats website, print off recipes, read the latest in food news, and subscribe to our weekly podcast. It's all available at eartheats.org.